What is good, God's people? It's Jay Nice, the Kingdom Builder, trying to build the King's Throne by singing all his theme songs, and we are rocking in San Antonio. All right, we made it to San Antonio here at Freedom Live. Tell me, I don't look at looking like, don't I look like maybe the manager of our skinhead gangster rapper? Basketball player. Ah. I hope. And the basketball player. Ball? See, you know. I'm managing them. Yeah. yeah. Don't look the hey, man, but on top of everything, he the main performer, ain't that something? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> hey, man, but hey, it's Pyrex, Rob Bean. Yeah, Shout yeah. out Trey Nine, you know what I'm saying? Rapture Records, all that, man. We in San Antonio getting it. Missionary prepared fields, reproducing evangelism, reproducing disciples, reproducing churches, and then reproducing leaders. Can't give you the whole thing, got to give you just a piece of it. Uh, Missionary Minded Workshops, uh, this is what we, um, this is what I love to do more than perform, which is what we did last night. I love to see people excited about sharing their story and uh, maybe some doing it for the first time. This is much more important to me than, than the performance aspect. And uh, it took me, you know, 10, 10 years, 10, 15 years before I arrived at the importance of this over how to record an album, how to start a record label, how to perform on stage, things like that. So, Missionary Minded Journals, hope you're enjoying this uh, edition. how to share their story I think it's 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 so basic and practical um, you know to 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 encourage people to learn how to share their story and how to listen to other people's stories uh, and not be so um, talkative to where you don't listen to people and what they've been been through and so a lot of times as a missionary what I'll do to open and spark conversation after introducing myself or asking someone their name is say, what's your story? And you'd be surprised how many people just open up and start sharing their life with me. And, uh, and, and it opens the door for me to share my story and then share the real story, which is his story. The gospel. My fireman that, that, that turned me up to go do the things that God has for me to do. Gave me skills, gave me ideas and concepts to use to, to really go out and make a difference in my community. So definitely appreciate Trey Nine, appreciate Pyrex man for, for hey, coming out here. Don't let your ball me. head boo you <laughs> all day. I enjoyed the class today because God has called me to establish 
establish a ministry for single parents and for troubled youth. And so that's well, what I uh, I got a lot out of this. Basically, um, we do a lot of evangelism in the church. We've always done it. We we have a heart for it, but then we. We're kind of stuck there. Like when it comes to discipleship, we don't know. Discipleship is a big word. It sounds like a burden. Like you have to make time. I already have two jobs and three kids. Ministry at church. So how do you disciple others? Like, so, but that's what that's what it takes to change people, to to grow other leaders, to not only lead them to Christ. You have to spend time with them. You have to let them see your life. They see something real. Maybe they don't have anything real around them. Um, so I see there's more work to be done. Like I need to really ask the Lord what He wants me to do and uh, make time to reach out to others. Like do life with them. Like let them see us, what we do, and cross the street, get to know our neighbors. Like do whatever it takes to reach others. Persevering in that. And uh, it's not just what we do in the church building. It's not all about knowledge. It's about people. Like reaching out to people and, and uh, leading them to Christ, building the kingdom. Like, and uh, something that's been in my heart for a while, but it's just confirming it and I'm um, just continuing to learn and pray about all these things that we learn. And it's just a blessing. That's it and get that. Get the word of God. <laughs> it was great to have uh, uh, this uh, mission minded uh, workshop. Um, where we brought Train 9 in to kind of talk to the artists because we're trying to unify all the Christian artists, the rappers. Uh, we're, we're, we're tired of just performing. We're ready to really hit the streets and make a difference here in San Antonio. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So the first step was just to get a plan in place. And we learned how to be disciples. And uh, we looked at the reproductive cycle. And uh, Train 9 went over that. And it's so simple. Anybody can learn it. And so we wrapped it up in a matter of four hours. Four hours in order to pack the city for the rest of our lives. What life. I learned is about discipleship since I've been out here with Trey Nine. Um, basically, the same difference in the streets. Street code, you with your brothers, you know what I'm saying? The same type of concept you learn about organizations as myself that I was in. Um, doing the things that I was doing is basically the same thing. You gotta, you gotta be around people to learn from them, to follow them, to one day lead. You see what I'm saying? And that's basically what I've been learning.